the seven most important concepts in chemical engineering. Coming up next. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome once again to the channel. And now let's talk about the actual things that are relevant for engineers in the industry. So I know that we have been covering a lot of topics that are very important in academia, but there are also a lot of concepts that are very relevant when you are right there as a process engineer. These are for sure much more practical tips for young engineers as well as not so young engineers. Let's get started with the very first one, which will be, yes, actually being able to read, understand, and hopefully write pipe and instrumentation diagrams. Actually, I will say overall diagrams will be the case, block diagrams, process flow diagrams, but more importantly, pipe and instrumentation diagrams. This is undoubtedly required for process engineers in order to be able to first understand the status quo of the process and secondly, being able to predict or maybe design something for a future process. Number two will be safety and hazards control. As a engineer overall, you are in charge of manipulating a lot of chemicals, but also operating with a lot of machinery. And it's our task to maintain a very healthy and safe environment. This will require you to at least know the basics of the processes of all the materials being handled, but also get deeper in what if scenarios. What will happen if temperature increases in the tank? What will happen if the pressure decreases suddenly? What will happen if we had to increase the molar flow of our reactor? These are very quick examples on the what if scenarios in which the engineer must be paying extra attention compared to other fellow colleagues. Number three will be unit operations. And of course, I'm talking about number one, understanding what are the concepts behind these unit operations. Number two will be being able to identify the unit operations in a process, either in the plant itself or in a diagram. And number three on unit operations will be being able to understand the concepts, the ideas, so you can manipulate the input variables such as temperature, pressure, flow rates, so on, in order to obtain the final product specifications that we require. Four will be the understanding of general plant operation. This is very important because when we are students, we only care that much on unit operations per se, increasing temperature of a reactor maybe, or we're talking about increasing flow rates or so. But it's very important to understand that each changes affect the whole process. Not only temperature is going to be increasing on our reactor, but that will imply maybe that we have a exothermic reaction, which requires further cooling. A deeper example will be being able to obtain a higher conversion yield will imply that the separations of our distillation, if we're separating A and B, will be either harder or easier. And of course, if we're talking about a higher yield in our distillate, we are for sure going to be spending much more energy in the condensation of that product. All this must be in the head of the chemical engineer. Whenever affecting a certain unit operation, being able to understand the effect of changing such conditions through all the process is one of the most important parts as a process engineer. Number five is adding cash to the equations, guys. I'm talking about plant economics or plant finances. This is one of the most important aspects because a lot of us don't know that much on the costs of utilities. Maybe we don't know how much is the raw materials. Maybe we don't know about the accounting system that requires certain inventories certain type of logistics, distributions, or so. Or maybe if we're trying to scale up our process, we don't know how much is a tank or a reactor, or if we're trying to buy a certain type of materials or building materials and so on. Hence, it's very important for the chemical engineer to go out there and start getting acquaintance with the cost of things. How much is investment required? How much is finances required? And overall, plant economic understanding. Number six will be having a overall understanding or grasp on numbers. And what I mean with this is that once that you are there in the plant, you need to understand the magnitude of numbers. If you are going to be talking about sizing, how much is sizing relevant? We're talking about liters or maybe cubic meters or so. If we are talking about small piping systems, you gotta know all the internal and outside diameters, try to at least figure out how big are they in real life. If we're talking about sizes on weight, 
weight maybe, we're talking about mass, if we're talking about kilograms per hour, if we're talking about tons. You gotta understand the sizes of those containers that will be able to handle that quantity. Not only that, you may want to understand how much is the cost of transportation per unit. And also very importantly, trying to understand all per unit money and per unit time. Truth be told guys, that I really respect how Americans try to always associate sizes of anything to things that are very common to people. For instance, the size of a penny, the size of a football field, or maybe we're talking about the size of a pool. Those are great ways for the general public, but the engineer must go beyond. And finally, one concept that is getting more traction and more strength is plant environment, or maybe we're talking about plant pollution. In both cases, we're talking about pollution of air, pollution of water, a pollution of soils. We're talking about our footprint or the impact of our process with our environment. This is undoubtedly one of the most important aspects to consider, guys, because a lot of chemical processes, a lot of chemical industries are working towards being more green or more environmentally friendly. And that's it, guys. Those are the seven concepts that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm pretty sure that if you start investing time towards studying these or getting more into those ideas, you are getting to set apart from other fellow engineers. Not only that, guys, you will be adapting much easier into the workforce of those chemical companies. And guys, that will be it on my behalf. But if you have any idea or any comment or maybe any other concept that may be helpful for young engineers, that just recently got a job in a process industry or a chemical company, leave it here in the comment sections. We are more than grateful to receive some feedback and ideas from other fellow chemical engineers. But for now, that will be it guys. I'll see you in the next video.